Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's fucking Friday. Friday fire, bitches. Woo! Uh, anyway, um, this video is uh, going to relate to like fitness for, for anybody in the world. It's about personal fucking trainers. Um, I've been asked before, what do I, is my opinion on hiring a personal trainer and who's also like, let's say a nutritionist or hiring one or the other or hiring two separate ones, like a personal trainer and a nutritionist. Um, well, they can either be fucking great for you or they can be fucking terrible and just be taking your money and ripping your shit off. So that comes down to a lot of different things. First, you got to figure out what are your goals. And then you really got to be honest with yourself and consider are you a beginner, intermediate, or advanced person in fitness? And so that'd be the first two steps. Goals. Am I trying to lose fat, put on muscle, stay in shape? Do I just want a new dude to put me through some new workouts because mine have run old and mundane? Like, you know, what, what's the reason? Why are you trying to get a fucking trainer? Because half the time in the world, you don't fucking need a trainer to tell you what to go to the gym to do. You need a fucking trainer to coach you to get to so you can have the physique and look and aesthetically pleasing look you want to have. That is why usually you'll hire a personal trainer slash coach. So for my opinion, any average gym goer who is at any fucking gym in the world, first off, I mean, like, it's just like if you went to fucking GNC, if you're going in there and you're trying to like buy some shit for the first time and it's some fucking dude walks out from behind the counter who literally looks like he's never stepped in a gym before. And he looks like, and he looks like more of a person that you should be giving advice to on what to buy in that store. Okay. That is not the fucking trainer I'm ever going to hire for myself personally. If you want to go hire that dude, that lady hats off to you. Good luck, please. Write a review, leave me a comment on if you have had that kind of experience and they were awesome, they sucked, whatever. So that's, I'm first going to base it off of however that trainer looks. If they look how I want to look, then they have my attention right there. So then second, if they kind of look how I want to look, but they have a fucking list of credentials and background of doing the things that I've wanted to do, then they've already got me pretty much ready to go. So if you got to, they got to first figure that out, all that out, how you're going to base what they want. Then it's going to come down to money. Then it's going to come down to time. Then it's going to come down to, are they a person who you see once a week and they tell you what to go do and eat? Are they someone who's going to be there every step of the way with you, who you're going to go see every day at the gym and you're going to pay them 25 to a hundred bucks an hour to have them put you through a workout that you can do on your own. Or are you going to get, or is it because you're a beginner and you're trying to learn the actual fundamentals and basics of how to, how to even fucking lift weights? So you got to first establish all that, what you're going, what your goals are, why you need this trainer or why you want this trainer. So once you have that figured out, it's going to always come down to money. Can you afford it? What can you afford? Can they work with you? Do they give you a discount because of age? You're in school, you only want them to work out with you once a week, but tell you what to do at the gym every day of the week. That's all kind of cost you money. Then it's going to cost you more money if they're also giving you a diet plan written out. And if you're getting this from somebody at some fucking like Globo gym bullshit, it's going to cost you a shit ton of money. And like it's going to cost you a lot of money. And then the problem is that you're going to be super pumped and motivated for the first couple of days. And then you're going to be throwing money out the window because you no longer give a flying fuck about what this person's trying to sell you. So that's that part. Um, I've worked with a couple of different coaches and trainers before to establish where I want to get to in life. Uh, my first per my first coach trainer that I ever hired, uh, he's a dude I grew up with and I knew excellent dude. He's living out in California now, I think. Uh, name is Emmett. Awesome dude. My, he was my brother's friend growing up. And then he got my brother into more into fitness. I saw what he did with my brother. And then that's, I also linked up with him and he coached me for a little while just to, and it got my feet wet in the whole idea 
and concept of how it all works. Then I had a couple of other dudes that I, tr I tested out for a short time and they just fucking sucked. They didn't know what I wanted or they knew what I wanted. They didn't give me what I wanted. So if I didn't give a fuck. Then I have my uh, coach trainer that I've been working with, I'd say the last like, I don't know, fucking four years, I think. Yeah, four years. So therefore, you know that I like him. He's good. I trust him. Name's Carl Jackson or CJ uh, for Team Juggernaut is the name of it, of his coaching. Awesome dude. He works with you. Mad respect for him. He's fucking killing it. Um, and then, but there's tons of other ones. There's there's a guy named Justin Harris out in Kalamazoo, Michigan. He fucking kills it. Then there's any IFBB pro dude who's out there. You can easily find them online and then you can hire them out. Or you can buy like a 12 week, six week package bullshit deal thing. Half the time they're the same shit you can find anywhere. You can probably even just Google it and download it for free. But if there's other coaches and trainers out there who I know for a fact that like they actually do work with you on like a every other day basis, every minimally at least once a week basis, depending on how much you pay for them. But uh, getting a personal trainer, I do not believe is at all necessary. I don't recommend it for anybody right off the bat because you're just going to be throwing money away. I recommend you get with a fucking friend who at least has some clue of what the hell he's doing in the gym. Then once you're actually there, a lot of times you can go to the personal training section and you can ask them about personal training and normally they'll give you the first session free. If they don't, fuck them. Do not pay for the first session. Ask somebody else in that facility. There's somebody there who gives the first session free. I guarantee it. And if they don't, just go, just go to another gym for a day. Say you want to sign up and then they're going to offer you a free personal training course anyway. Look at that. Just saved your fucking money. So that's my take on personal trainers, I'd say, in a nutshell, or more of a rant. My opinion, you do not need one right away. You only need one if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, for starters. Then you may need one if, let's say, you've lost track and you are so bent out of shape and you don't know what the hell you're doing anymore and you need someone to help you with that. I'd say get a personal trainer. If you're looking to compete, be on stage, you have a photo shoot, anything like that, definitely get yourself a coach and trainer. The average Joe who just likes to go lift weights and knows what he's doing, don't even bother getting a personal trainer. Go online. There's tons of free shit for you out there. YouTube is your fucking best friend, guaranteed. So that's what I got for you tonight on personal training and hiring or not. Hopefully you liked it and learned something. Yeah. Leave me a comment or message me below letting me know if there was anything good for you. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.